<laughs> Yibsy. <laughs> and we are back oh. with Cadet and Police Hi. Officer in Training, Mark Jones, who is we're um picking up where we left off with episode one. He's catching up on the, his shows to watching Civil Public Access, and we will soon be getting him to bed. He has just finished eating his first... Oh my gosh, there's somebody at the door. I hate the way they do this. Okay, let's hang on. Let's do a friendly introduction. I hate the way they do this because I never hear anybody knock. Quam say bo! Ah, soul soul. Chinosa bombisk nilzi accrutes, eh? Z plume? Oh, exy. You're no. Clevite gaunim. Grinoi barsp palka pinar. We're just gonna talk to her for a few minutes, then we're gonna let him get some sleep. Uh huh. Oh, nor will grob. She is a dance machine. Hmm. K Wes. Chabe Sturka. Emka floof? Ah, bimo. Rina. We's in a row. And a buckworm. Oh, Gosha. Snabby Gobi. Zarf. And a freelance program. Wabarani Bayumi. Sibu on a mop. Bulein the Galna. I know you want to go to bed, but you should send her home before you do that. Oosh, oosh. Otherwise, she's going to come watch your TV and stuff. All right. Now you can go to sleep. And we'll go ahead and queue him up for the day, or for the morning, with, uh, he'll go ahead and, he'll probably need to use the toilet when he wakes up. Holy crap! Everything just broke! <laughs> okay, so the gremlin's trait works. We'll, uh, we'll, um, have to deal with that when he wakes up, I guess. <laughs> That's not to let him sleep too long. Um, Mark, honey, you're gonna have to come fix this. Um, I would suggest putting on shoes, but, uh... You know, you do you. And we're going to need to repair this because you're going to need a bath. He has acquired the handiness skill. Gosh, is this... T oh my god, his TV's broken too. Oh, and the sink's broken, and the stove's broken, and the refrigerator's broken. Everything's broken. Obviously, I've never played with the Gremlins trait before. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to prioritize here. Hygiene's definitely at the top of the list. I wonder if he can get into the refrigerator. He can still get leftovers out of it. Okay. Uh, could you speed this along a little bit? Yeah, this isn't the only thing you need to fix. Ah, huh, you got two upgrade parts. Okay, uh... We'll let him get to the sink after he's had his bath. Handing this level two. Okay, keep going. And now 
why don't you have a citrus soak? That would probably help with the rest of the repairs that you need to make. <laughs> oh my. I honestly did not expect absolutely everything in the house to break. Hmm. Uh-oh, he fell asleep in the tub. Oh gosh, don't drown, don't drown. <laughs> and back to sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh. Sweetie, you might want to get on that bath before you run out of time. Uh, uh, I uh, mean, uh, you've still got a couple hours, but... What the heck is this? And now you're sick? Uh oh. Okay, well, come grab you, um, some leftover. Oh, okay, you were gonna do that anyway. Um, while you're doing that, um, I'm gonna grab you a. Okay, go watch it. Oh, you can't watch TV, huh? Until you fix it. Um, let's see. We are going to get him a surface uh, on which to place. Uh, should we just go ahead and get a full set? Yeah. I'm just grab one of these. Let's kind of stick it into the wall there. Maybe we should instead get it. Oh, no. We want these. Uh, and we want um, maybe just one of these end pieces here. Yeah. Maybe eventually we'll put some more in. But let's save some money. And go back to kitchens, appliances, and we want a teapot. Uh, because, uh, well, he doesn't have a computer. He can't exactly order medicine. I know, I know. Let's get you some green tea going. After you finish eating. I know, I know. Well, okay. Wow. I... <laughs> I am a bit shocked that every single thing in the house broke. And he's got an hour until work starts. Okay. Okay, go ahead and eat. You need to go to the bathroom again. Oh, he hasn't gone to the bathroom yet. Well, he can do that at work. Okay, grab yourself some tea. Uh, can you just pocket the rest of this until you get to work? No. Okay, we'll stop eating. <laughs> oh man, so much he's gonna have to do. I know, I know. <laughs> oh goodness. Rough start to the day. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe you should wash your hands after you use the toilet. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is going to affect his bladder quite some bit. 
He's like, oh, I've got less than 10 minutes to work, though. He can use the toilet at work. Just finish that tea. You may have to bring it with you. In fact, you're almost certainly going to bring it with you. Okay. Training day two. Train harder. There's still a bit more to learn before you'll be ready for your own case. First, it's time to get out into the community and start building your reputation as a friendly protector or a hardened authority figure. I don't think he's going to be able to pull off hardened authority figure. After that, you'll get to take a shot at finding and arresting a suspect. Get a move on, Ricky. Okay, let's get a move on to the toilet. And I will follow you. And let's make sure he brought his tea with him. He did. I want you to finish drinking that as well. Yeah. All right. How? Oh. Feel better now? Okay, let's see what you need to do. You need to go on patrol. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why you're drinking the tea, remember? Doesn't seem to be helping, though. Well, well, it's getting better. Okay. Yeah, okay. We do want you to get to a computer. That's true. Probably not to do what you're planning on. No, we just chat. Okay, no. We need you to, oh, go on patrol. Okay, we are at Umbridge Manor. When an officer is on patrol, they can get to know the community and help keep troublemakers in check. Talk with residents to make a friendly or mean impression. If you see anyone littering or fighting, issue a citation to make sure they obey the law. Okay, apparently we need to do one of each. A citation and a check. Okay. Well, let's see if we see anyone around. Not really. We'll let him uh, just kind of stand around. And play on his phone, I guess, while we look for people doing pretty much anything. He acquired the video gaming skill. That's nice. Let's see. Nobody over there. Ah. You're heading to a chess table. Okay. You might run into somebody over there. Ah. Oops. Okay, come on. Let's look around a little bit, see if we see anyone. No. Okay, uh -huh. here is an, a couple of angry people. Let's see what they are doing. Let's see if we can find them. Well, I suppose if we follow Mark, we should. Are they over this way? No. This way? Which one are you going to? Looks like this one. Geez, Mark, could you go any slower? Okay, let's see here. We've got this one. Bodroga? Zori? May pick a Shuma. We'll be at It is her problem. Blarbin Thor? Brapna? Lexa? <laughs> the heck just happened? <laughs> Okay, she appears to be somewhat, um, 
erratic. Oh, oh, it looks like she might be suffering from another illness. Obila Snave. Kum J. Kosu Shinoi. Got some other angry people over here. Oh, here's an angry dude. Suppose we could call him over. Dag Dag, Jomis, Arben Duba, Vene Nuch Quos, Serbino Yap Yam, Kimus, Yano Zorpo, Laho Quarb, Snoof. Uh huh, so so. Maybe. Oh, y'all are just a pleasure. Oh. Wait to see if they like get into a fight or something. Can't really issue a citation unless one of them does something. Oh, I can actually. I don't know what the citation's for. Huh. Niara. <laughs> dag dag. Susul. Uh uh. I haven't actually seen her do anything, but all we have to do is oh, issue a citation. Kalusa. Doesn't necessarily That's have to be. Now go. Huh? Oh, ugh. All right. Yeah. Well, um. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like you're just Katie, starting to embarrass yourself. Why don't you go back to the station? Huh. All right. Oh, I added lot trades to the uh, police station. Let's see. You have processed enough clues to issue an all points bulletin. While you have a rough description of the suspect, the more clues you find and process, the more specific the description becomes. When you have a very detailed description of the perp, you will be less likely to arrest an innocent who shares a few similarities with the guilty party. Okay. Alright, before we get started, there is something that I need to fix. That, um, when I was editing the uh, chicken wire out of the police station. I accidentally, I think, yeah, blocked this room off. <laughs> uh, so what we are going to do is find ourselves a door. Uh, let's see. I hate tall walls. Okay. We are going to copy the store, and we are going to place it right here behind the chair. Alright, that should be a fix there. Okay. Now, back to Mark. We need you to issue an all points bulletin. Let's see how you're doing first. You're not having very much fun. Okay. And you learn video gaming and everything. Okay. You did embarrass yourself. In an awkward situation. Oh, conversation, rather. Okay, you've met. Okay. What clues do we have, actually? Uh, on the pad? Detective. Okay. The suspect is wearing slacks, is a loner wearing a jacket, and has red hair. Okay. So let's issue an APB. You can move a little faster. Okay, a suspect fitting the APB description has been spotted in this area. Ask around to see if anyone can point you toward the sus suspect. Use the notebook to review the suspect description before you make an arrest. If you arrest the wrong person, it won't look good on your record. Our record doesn't look that great as it is, but he's going to try to make something of an effort. Okay, well, let's see. 
Okay, so we're looking for someone with red hair, slacks, a jacket, and that is a loner. Okay, so let's see if we see anyone inside the museum. Uh, let's pop up here. Hi, nobody up here. No. Okay. So they must be outside of the museum. Ah, here's some people, and they are all redheaded. Two, three, three of them, they're all wearing jackets, um, and two of them are wearing slacks. One of them is a loner. This guy was at the crime scene we investigated, and he was tense. And loners have a tendency to become tense. Let's go over there and ask him about the suspect. Huh. Even though... Zone Feast Police. Uh, Nerimo. Jifafa. George Uke. Huh. Uh huh. You haven't seen uh, anyone like that. Not even this woman over here. <laughs> uh huh. Let's uh, get to know. Huh? Boombraza? Huh? <laughs> yes. A Mookie Grover. Loner. <laughs> Harbin do four. Guess what? Oh, Harfin Wanu. Fambo Fuba. Well, that was rather quick and painless. Yes, please. All right, apparently we did well. Now that you've learned about work out in the world, you should know that there's plenty to do around the station, too. Run criminals through the booking station, take crime reports from civilians, and get to know your co-workers. You can also use the gym upstairs to stay fit. <laughs> yeah, I totally see him doing that. Or browse the database on a computer to bolster your knowledge of the criminal mind. I wonder if that actually does that. Hmm. Okay. So we need to get criminal fingerprints at the booking station, take mug shots at the booking station, and take a police report from a civilian. Are there any civilians nearby? Okay. Well, let's have a look at where our criminals are. There's no civilians that I see. But we'll wait and see if one appears. Okay. Here are our criminals. Uh, Jalen Rector. Well, we'll go ahead and start here. Uh, need fingerprints and mugshots. Start with fingerprints, I suppose. And we'll go ahead and take a mugshot while we're at it. His teeth starting to wear off, but he's not sick anymore, so. I suppose we can put the wheels back. And. Come on, Mark. Wibisuke, you looks. Okay. Stubisha. Okay. Uh. Nothing ever works for you the first time, does it, Mark? Are you gonna do the mugshot? Mark? Mark? <laughs> oh. 
Apatosh. Ufa. All right, I guess. There we go. Oh, you need to search a criminal. Okay, let's go ahead and do that while we got him right there. I do. Yes, but now. Uh huh. Haha. <laughs> oh see the Ah. Uh huh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He's got a fish. Uh -huh. What were you gonna do with this fish, man? Uh, All right, let's uh, uh, uh Well, I guess we we're done with him um uh, sir. Could you please show yourself back to the uh Joso while I browse the Police database All right, oh, well, we've pretty much done all we have to we can just go uh do things that he finds fun or eat. Let's see. They don't have a TV here. Huh. Biru scans us. Stumpsy Turup. Assistant. Uh, oh, we are supposed to discuss case theories. It's not really going to help with our job performance for the day, but... But he does enjoy talking. Uh, let's do a friendly introduction. Ospa. Uh, they want to stick. Oh, it doesn't matter. Are you going to do that friendly introduction I told you to do? Oh, Lempima. Uh, why are you filming? Ask to see outfit. No? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, you're feeling uncomfortable. You should probably... Why don't you, uh... Dare not tray you. Wash the uh, stink off of you, <laughs> I guess. And then, uh, let's see if we can find you something fun to do. There is a oh, there's a chess table upstairs. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. And then maybe once your fun is up, you could. Grab something to eat. Oh, actually, instead of just playing chess, let's, let's find somebody to play with. Uh, let's see, you haven't met your chief yet. Why don't you play with him instead? Oh, shoot. Okay, play with Chester Rest. Okay, what are you doing? Are you talking? Okay, yes. All right, why don't you do a funny introduction with your uh, boss? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, sun's coming up a little bit. You Casper. <laughs> 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 Bossa move, you know. Feeling rather uh -huh. confident. Yarba. <laughs> yip, yip, yip. Zagu, zagu. Uh -huh. Hogan. <laughs> he didn't laugh. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, you're not exactly funny mm. yet. Why don't you get to know your boss? Flory Griha. Galba Limna Glock. Watini Pashanizo. You don't ask him about his salary. Insults his work ethic. Punishorg. He's in a row. Ah. Oh, Gosha. To ask about salary is actually a friendly interaction. He's a bookworm. Ask him about his salary. Ah, you reached logic level two. Maybe you'll actually get that analyzer to work now. Rina. Rina Shunigwa. Revuda. Conqueru Baima. Mapiro. Huh. Flix. Yabrano Darza. Good joy. Piguna. <clears throat> Piguna. Oh, Lomish. If we could get you focused before you get back Chris to. Hey, yeah. Uh, I don't uh, think we're going to hang so around for an extra hour because we've got a lot of stuff to fix Arbor at home. Schweib. 
Nelfi Duba. Ah ha. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, why don't you compose the crazy thing? That's a noiseful herb. Your link. Ah, Nermocrankus. Oh. Yeah, you're getting hungry, but you have food at home. Muscatibs. Pleasey. Pristona fling. Buento per se how looped. Fwibs puiva. Genarfani. Flib. Borbiano. Zorpal. Did you just embarrass yourself again? Mechate. Mechate. Oh. Benarb. Yell scarbish. Cesare. Usharb. Teebs. Shefanaz. Nabim. Rabat. See if we can get him focus. I mean, like, really focus. This is just... Lock trait focused. But if he can be focused by the time he gets home, he can do the repairs faster. Ganesh. I don't think he likes you. Ganera. Derbna tray you. Uh-huh. Oh, All we know is that he's a bookworm. Okay. Well, I guess focused isn't what's going to happen here. Oh, but you did get a promotion. And two hundred and thirty four dollars. That's a lot better than what you did yesterday. Uh, we got a bonus, and you've got some new clothes. Alright, well, let's go home and fix everything, and we'll check out your new clothes. Alright, we are going to go ahead and... Oh, you are going to be working... Oh, you're not going to have a day off until next Monday. Alright, got the same hours, though which should be easy enough to manage. Okay, so let's uh, kill that. Um, right quick, let's uh, let's check out your new clothes before we get moving here. Uh, not there. Be your career outfit. Let's have a look at it. Muesto Quopa. Huh. Alright. Huh. Like, ah, you got a black jacket with a silver badge. Oh, it matches your shoes nicely. Are you wearing socks? No, you're not wearing socks. Okay. Uh, let's see. What the pants? Uh, no color options there. That's fine. They still match your tie. How about the hat? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. At least the hat matches the jacket. Alright. Alrighty then. I think that's all we need to do here. Alright. Now, I don't see us getting you folk. Well, I don't see wasting time on getting you focused before. <laughs> what you could do. Now, let's go ahead and eat first, and then we'll start fixing everything. Uh, get leftovers. Oh my. Uh, actually, that's got eight hours until it's spoiled. Why don't you go ahead and eat that? Oh, in fact, you're a slob. It doesn't matter whether it's spoiled or not, does it? I don't know. I, <laughs> honestly, I've never really played a lazy sim or a slob. So, uh, I forget these peculiarities about them. I guess you oh, probably would have appreciated fixing the TV oh. first. Are you complaining about the trash, or are you complaining about the fact that the TV is broken? <laughs> One new core harm. Huh. Okay, well, let's see. That should get... Okay, that took care of enough that you can... <laughs> let's fix this TV first. Actually, you just made... Uh, TV's gonna... A bigger TV will be will cost you pretty much most of what you've got. So let's go ahead and fix that TV with... Oh, jeez. Maybe you should fix some other stuff first. What? Well, you're level 2. You're probably not going to die. Hmm. 
If I know Mark, the way I think I know Mark, he's going to want to fix that TV first, no matter what. <laughs> but I am going to save first. <laughs> if he gets shocked, that's fine. If he dies, well, that's kind of game over. So... <laughs> Uh, let's see, we are going to save this as, um, please don't die, Mark. Okay. Fix it. I should probably have gotten in focus first, but... Oh, I've been repairing it twice. Okay. Gina and Sylvester would like to come over to hang out. Yes, maybe she will mop for us. <laughs> or fix something. We could sure use a hand. I hope I clicked OK. Sometimes I don't. Will you just let yourself in or do I have to actually invite you in? We did tell her she could come over. Uh, you are getting tired. Uh, yeah, well, kind of busy right now. Clayton's really low on the priority list. Huh. I don't know if he's going to bother with that. Got more important things to attend to. Like, uh, why don't... Let's see. Actually, let's see how he's doing needs-wise. Uh, he could use a trip to the toilet. He does need a fix. Two sinks and the refrigerator. I wonder if this food's going to spoil in the refrigerator. No, we're not going to replace it. Well, it's only 188 to replace. Uh, let's open it right quick. Let's see if the food has begun to spoil. No, it has not. This is something I find very interesting about refrigerators these days. There's no longer an expiration on the food. <laughs> As long as it's in the refrigerator. Or you're off the lot and it just happens to be sitting out. Okay, well, I'm feeling pretty good about what you've accomplished. I think you could fix the stove. But it might be handy to have at least one working sink. Hmm. How long is this tea going to be good for? Oh, there's two left. Okay. And you're probably still hungry because you only had like half a plate of macaroni and cheese. Um, let's go ahead and repair this one. Ah. She is so, uh, uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Alright, well if you want to continue this discussion you'll have to follow me into the bathroom. <laughs> Alright. Look at Mark. Fixing this house. <laughs> Honestly, I did not expect that many things to break overnight. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen again tomorrow. Or tonight <laughs> while he's sleeping. Uh, oh, she is mopping! Look at her! I'm not sure how useful it is with the sink still going like that. Now she's going to come up in the bathroom, too. Okay, did you pinch yourself, Mark? Okay, let's see. Most pressing issue is energy. You do need to use the toilet, but let's not do that while she's mopping. Let's not interrupt her helpfulness. Let's uh, go ahead and repair the stove. Since you do have a sink working. Uh, 
Uh, and since you fixed your TV, you can grab yourself some leftovers when you're done with that. And go watch your TV. Gina can join you if she so chooses. I know, you're not having any fun at all. So we speed this up. There's quite a lot for Gina to mop in there. Yep, yep. She's still going. At least we have the bathroom working again. She didn't mop quite everything, but that's fine. Technically, Mark shouldn't care whether the floor is wet or not. I mean, check, he went in there with in socks with a wet floor. Something I never do on purpose. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh crap! Okay, okay, okay. Um, now Mark is dazed. Okay, well that's better than dead. Oh my. You know what we don't have in this kitchen? <laughs> this trash can. Let's uh, grab one right quick. And here we go. Trash cans. Let us get... How much is this? $80. I like this one. Let's get the white one. Yeah. Put that right there. I know it doesn't really go with this. Actually, well, n I let's not overthink this. This is Mark we're talking about. Hmm. Wow, Gina has turned out to be quite helpful. I would have him talk with her, but I don't really want to interrupt her. So, uh, we're just going to let her do what she's doing. Maybe. <laughs> she's still mopping. Yep, yep. Uh, Gina, I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, but you know what? If it makes you feel better, you go for it. Um, you really need to use the restroom pretty soon here. I'm going to have a quick peek at how long our recording has been going. Oh, 45 minutes. Jeez. Okay, well, we're almost done here. Uh, let's see. Now we get to chat with Gina. Lafana. <laughs> Okay, where's she going now? Okay, I see you're getting sleepy. Uh, why don't you use the toilet first? Oh. Oh, he's also dazed, right? Oh, but yeah, he is really tired. She's still trying to mop the constant leak over there, but... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to use the restroom before you try chatting with Gina. Um. Should we go ahead and end it with a broken fridge, stove? And, well, we're not fixing any electronics while he stays. That's for sure. He is very uncomfortable. Okay, hang on a second. Hold on, hold on. He's nauseated from the lot traits. Now, because he's a slob, I wouldn't think that he would get nauseated. It's a plus five uncomfortable. Okay, I'm definitely changing that lot trait. I can deal with everything being broken every morning. <laughs> but being... Plus five uncomfortable every morning, or every time he goes in the bathroom, or whatever. No. Or every time he eats, when he should be able to eat absolutely anything. Yeah, this is a 
conflict of interest with a lot of traits. Uh, okay, he's extremely tired, he is happy from his promotion, and he is still dazed. Okay, we're going to fix that watch trait very quick. Let's see, what else could we put? Uh, traits. Okay, we're taking off Brody. We'll leave Filthy, though, because that kind of fits in. Uh, in fact, I, I haven't seen, I, I have yet to see Filthy do anything at all. We could throw gnomes in to maybe help with some of the <laughs> repairs. Uh, actually, we might want to throw a homie in there to help him with the uh, handiness. <laughs> since he's going to have a lot of repairs to do every morning. Could make it a vampire nexus. Oh, but if he gets bitten, he ain't got like a plus... 10 uncomfortable, something like that. Like, you have to take a mud bath to get rid of that. Um. Cursed. Hmm. Christmas comedy and mischief. Fast internet. He doesn't even own a computer. We're not gardening. Uh, no, we don't need instruments. Uh, schools don't matter. Haunted. Uh, wouldn't a haunting just break stuff too? Well, it might also spook you. With stuff getting possessed. I don't know. Uh, we've already got things breaking enough as it is. Uh, we're not off the grid. Yeah, I don't think he can stand to live off the grid. He loses TV. Quick zone, no. No, I don't need any extra reasons for him to not be in a good mood. Uh, yeah, we'll just do something like either home here or convivial. Um, I'm thinking homie is probably going to be useful. We'll give him, okay, he's already got two really awful block traits, so we'll give him one that will actually be helpful to him. Okay, and back to here, I think, for the moment, we are going to save and leave him here. We are, uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and save before we send him to bed, because uh, there's no telling what time he'll wake up. He could wake up fully rested at 1 o'clock in the morning, or... He could sleep until it's time to go to work. Hard to say. So, we will save as end of day two. Well, day two, day two and a half, I guess. <laughs> well, it is technically still day two. I guess I could have just saved over, please don't die, Mark. Um,. End of day two. Okay. Oh, I could have saved that he got a promotion or something. I mean, jeez. Let's look at the positive. Alright. Well, I'm out. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like. If you did not enjoy this, please dislike. If you have suggestions, please send them to the comments. Um, other than that, I'm off. Goodbye. See y'all next time.